847, we're catching up with one of our favorite guys. Michael Phelps is the most decorated Olympian in history with 28 career medals, 23 of those gold. It's just a nice way to introduce somebody. Michael, good to see Sounds you, pal. Good. How are you? Good, good. No complaints. We were in Rio. I said to you, are you done, done? You said, yeah. I'm done, done. In the time since then, have you had any second thoughts, any little twinges where you say, what am I going to do for that competitive juice? I mean, I literally just was talking to uh, a reporter a minute ago, and I was like, I feel like I could do it but I just have nothing that I want to come back and do. And, and I think that's the biggest thing. And, and you know, for me, it's, it's now watching some of these kids come up. I mean, watch somebody like Caleb and, and continue to watch Katie. Um, and, and who knows who's going to shine in the next Olympics. But what I'm trying to get at is when you have that competitive outlet for so many years in your life, what do you replace it with? Well, I'm actually taking working out more seriously now. Uh, it was like a handful of times a week, and now probably from my high point, I've probably lost like 12 to 15 pounds. Um, I wanted to get back into some kind of shape and then uh, kind of start lifting. And, and for me, I think the biggest thing is just knowing that for me to be the best husband, the best dad, the hardest worker, I need to work out. And, and it's something that I have to do at least five or six times a week. And I want to mention, it's not like you're sitting home knitting. No. You know, you've got a ton of commitments, but if you were knitting, you would be knitting baby booties right now <laughs> because Nicole, number two. your yeah. much better half, is pregnant with your, your second child. When is she due? About? March 5th. And do you know if you're having a boy or girl yet? We do. Yeah, do, do we? Not yet. No, you, it's a perfect place, perfect time, I'm perfect sure it place. Is. I'm she sure wouldn't it is. be mad at me, I'm oh. sure. <laughs> we've, we've almost slipped so many times. Yeah. And, and uh, no, and it's, it's just something that, that we, we have a couple names that we like as well. Um, but it's just, it, it's something, like you said, I mean, we want to keep something private. And, and um, this journey has definitely been a lot different than Boomer's. Um, so it's, it's, it's going to be fun, and, and now we're a family of four. Yeah. Well, we have a couple of names, too, suggestions. We asked the gang here what we thought would be good. Savannah suggests Finn, which goes, by the way, can be a boy or a girl. Uh, Al suggested Lane. Uh, Lane, we're, we're okay. Some interrelated uh, stuff. Right. Hoda weighed in as well. She suggests Goldie. If it's a girl, if it's a boy, Fly, Fly Phelps. Fly Phelps, I like that would that. be a good one. Yeah. I go freestyle. Freestyle? I like freestyle. Freestyle? Yeah, because very carefree, that sort of thing. You just nickname free? Yeah, exactly, yeah. free. Yeah. Free Phelps. <laughs> um, I mentioned you're not sitting around doing nothing. You've got a lot of causes. You've got a lot of commitments. One of the things you're into now and you're trying to raise, raise awareness for is this need we have not only in this country but on our planet to preserve clean water. Yeah. Um, and, and we were here before talking about just when you brush your teeth, how much water you can waste when you leave it running. Um, how about this? For a family of four, they can waste up to 400 gallons of water a day with watering your plants, with uh, dishes, with um, flushing the toilet, with leaving the water running, with extend, extended showers. All of these things that we can cut back on. We all can. And, and I think it's even more today I'm getting people walking down the street being like, when I brush my teeth, I think of you turning off the faucet. So it is working. We need everybody to help us together. And, and every drop does count. And by the way, our kids are so much better than we are oh my at that. My kids, this gets drilled into them at school. And they, <laughs> and they go after me for this. I do want to mention something on a serious note quickly. You were in Las Vegas at that concert venue on the Friday night before the Sunday tragedy. And I know you started to get a lot of tweets over the weekend going, are you okay? Yeah. Must have been horrible. It's crazy. Um, you know, we went up to see a buddy of ours perform who was headlining. We went up and watched Eric perform. And, and um, Monday morning was tough for us. I mean, it's just, you know, it could have been, it could have been on Friday night too. Um, it, it just hit way too close to home. And, and um, you know, speaking with Eric also, that, like, I think it was Monday when I posted uh, his performance at the Grand Ole Opry. Um, it's insane. I mean, I had a friend call me that day who was there. Yeah. Um, I was trying to piece everything together, who I knew in Vegas, and, and um, I, mean, I was out there last week. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. We're happy you're okay. Thank you. My best Thank to you. Nicole, please. Thank you very much. Thanks we got to get out and play golf soon. We'll do it again we soon. Absolutely. And coming up now, oh, by the way, you're joining Megan. Yes. Also, you're going to go over yes. there. That'd be yes. fun. An exclusive clip from a new documentary is involved, and that'll happen in our next hour. But first, this is today on NBC. Hello today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here. 
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.